Here's a quick video on how to bind your TGY I6S remote control with your receiver. So we'll need the remote control, your receiver, your bind plug, and a five volt power supply. So you can use the battery through the power module and the flight controller wired up to power this. Or in my case, I just have a five volt power supply off screen. So first thing we'll do is we will look at the receiver and we are looking for this bind VCC plug port. We're going to plug the bind plug into that port. And then we're going to plug our 5 volt power into there. We want to make sure that the ground is at the bottom of the case and the signal is at the top. When we power that up with the bind plug in there, you'll see the LED starts to blink. Uh, that tells us that it's in bind mode. Uh, we're going to power on a remote control. So with the remote control on, we will press our menu button, the system, and then RX bind. It's going to bind when it makes that noise. It means it's bound. We can see that the RX receiver is lit up here. That tells us that our receiver is powered. The receiver light also stopped blinking and is now solid. So then while it is still powered, we will remove the bind plug. That locks this in, saying it's bound to this. And then we're going to remove power on the receiver. And then we will shut off our remote. And then to check and make sure that it's all powered, we're going to power the receiver and the remote back up. Again, we get our receiver confirmation tones, the little lines follow, and where light is on solid. So now we are bound, these two are a matching set. 